Hi, my name is JR, and I typically make videos about editing, color grading, and making motion graphics. So, if you haven't seen my channel before, I typically do stuff about DaVint Resolve Infusion, and that's still going to be my go to option if you're looking for a free solution for editing videos. Doesn't matter if you're making a feature film, long feature film, if you're going to be doing YouTube videos personal videos, events like that, I would still go with DaVinci Resolve as my editing tool. If you've never heard of DaVinci Resolve, it's actually a program that's made by a company called Blackmagic out of Australia. And they have put together a package which they offer a free version of, as well as what they refer to as a studio version or a paid version. And the differences between them are very slim, but there are a couple of differences. If you are gonna go with the free version, unlike a lot of other programs, you still don't have to deal with like watermarks and that kind of thing if you've used a free program in the past. DaVinci Resolve has a limitation of uh, UHD, so 4K pretty much, and up to 60 frames per second. You have access to almost all of the tools. There are a couple of small tools that use like the AI, kind of like new flashy tools that they've recently added in the new versions that um, are limited to the studio version. But you don't have to be concerned because everything that you would want to do in an editing software, you can pretty much do in the free version. The uh, way in which that they charge you for it is a relatively unique. So most are in two different camps. Either one is you have a subscription model, so you pay you know, every month or annually, something like that. Or two, you pay a upfront sum for a uh, version of a program. So you might have version two, and then you, know, you pay amount. And then when the new version, version three comes out, then you have to pay another amount to get to version three. But you can always use that software for as long as you want, right? Uh, well, with Blackmagic that makes DaVinci Resolve, they determine that what they're going to do is that you pay it one time and you get this floating license that works with DaVinci Resolve and it doesn't matter which version. So you can go to their website and they have all of pretty much all of the old versions um, there. If that's something that you really needed, I don't see why because all the uh, files are all uh, compatible with the newest version. So you don't have to go to like an old version to open up a file to my knowledge at least. Uh, but you pay one fee and every big iteration that typically comes out uh, every 12 months, so every year a big new release is typically out, uh, you just get it. You know, you can go on the website, you can download it, all of the updates are free and you only pay for that one license. If you determine that you like their software, you could buy it, it works on two systems. Uh, if you like their cameras, the higher end cameras, when you buy one of the cameras, you get the software for free. So there's that as well. If you like one of their cameras, just buy that and then you get the software for free. So there are a lot of different ways in which that, that Blackmagic offers the program DaVinci Resolve. And then uh, just recently they, add, they tacked on Fusion to DaVinci Resolve. So there's actually two versions of Fusion. You have like the normal version and then you also have the studio version. So the normal version used to be its own standalone program, but since they've added it into DaVinci Resolve, so DaVinci Resolve is going to be your like one-stop shop to do everything um, from ingesting the footage to editing it, to color grading it, to adding motion graphics, compositing, uh, sound effects, all of that, and then render it out all in one uh, program. And then they also have, if you are really into motion graphics and or you do really complex compositing, you also have the studio version of Fusion. For a bit there, there were two different licenses, but since then they've uh, added them all together. So if you had the DaVinci Resolve license, you get the studio version of Fusion. So it's kind of like a win-win once you go down the path of paying for it. But what do you get in the free version of DaVinci Resolve? And that's pretty much what this whole video is about. Uh, you get pretty much everything. <laughs> there might be a couple of like little things here and there. Recently, they added in face detection so that you can see when a particular character is on screen from one shot to the next. Kind of allows you to find uh, different shots where that one person's in that you're trying to go through a whole bunch of shots. That's the face detection kind of helps you out in that. Uh, there are a couple of things in Fusion um, that are like different effects that are only studio only. If you go back to the edit page, the edit and cut pages are pretty much the same. It's just depending on how you want to edit, they do pretty much the same thing. Um, 
but those in those there are also a couple of different effects that are specific to the studio if you have the free version um it's not really that big of a deal it's just a couple of like effects that are added in there when you go into the color world there are also a couple of things so like noise reduction isn't uh, a part but there's a couple of different tweaks that you can do uh davinci resolve allows you to bring in what are referred to as open fx which are like third-party plugins the open effects are like there will be one creator that makes an open effect and that can be used in a ton of different programs so you can also get these open effects that are used in other programs and bring them into davinci resolve and they work just well um, there are a couple like that that also do like um uh, noise reduction and stuff like that but typically those uh, open effects are more expensive than just getting the davinci resolve uh, uh studio version so uh, but they you do have these options to get any of them um, and then you also have something else that was just recently added into the free version which is collaboration mode and collaboration mode allows you to um, it, it's a little bit of setup but if you are in multiple locations you could have multiple editors or someone editing someone color grading all in the same program all at the same time there is a chat system so you can talk back and forth and then there's notes that you can take on different shots or um, markers and stuff like that, that both parties or whoever is working on it can also see that. So that was actually just added in during the whole COVID thing. Um, they decided that, you know what, let's put that in the free version as well. So that's actually on their website and you can download it. And like I said, it's a little bit of setup, but once you actually get it set up, there's videos all over YouTube and, and, and whatnot that uh, will kind of guide you through depending on your setup and, and uh, system that you're working on. But you do have that as an option. There are a few other things that I kind of wanted to, to say for when people are looking for different programs to use. Um, they, you know, you typically like read online if you go to Reddit or just, you know, look on, on different forms and stuff like that. A big thing that people always talk about is stability, right? So some people might have more stability in one program versus another program. And, um, there's a ton of different configurations that you can have in a system, right? So it's, you can't always make things, um, work for every single system. And, you know, there's a ton of different file types and stuff like that. And it really comes down to your hardware and it's something that you just personally have to try out for yourself if you, you know, if it works or doesn't work. Um, but what I will personally say is as long as you're saving, you shouldn't be concerned with uh, crashing. I personally, with my system and keeping up to date with uh, system updates and uh, video driver updates and stuff like that. I personally don't have any issues. I have a couple year old system. If you go down and look in the description, that's the system that I'm working on. If you look at my other tutorials on how to do different things, I put down there the most up to date uh, specs of my system. So you can get, you know, an idea of what I'm using and the performance that I'm having. Um, so if you have a system that is a couple years old, I think that you'll be perfectly fine. The other thing too, that, uh, Blackmagic does with DaVinci Resolve that I personally think is a very good thing is obviously when new um, hardware comes out, you want to kind of take advantage of the newest, you know, features of that hardware. So the software gets better and uh, more robust and, you know, you can take advantage of these new hardware features. If you determine that you install it on your system and something doesn't work, the really cool thing with DaVinci Resolve and black magic is you can go to their download page and you can just scroll back through all of the old versions until you get a version that is stable on your system now the only thing that uh kind of sucks with that is obviously the further back you're gonna go the you know you're gonna lose a couple of features that were you know added in the newest versions but you still have the ability to go back to those and the system hasn't changed a ton. So if you're working in an old version of DaVinci Resolve, you're going to learn how the program works. You're going to get used to it. And then when you get new hardware, you can take those old files and you can simply just put them onto the new hardware, update to the newest version of DaVinci Resolve, and you have all of your old files and the newest version of DaVinci Resolve on your new hardware when that time comes where you can then upgrade your hardware. So there's a lot of really cool things that a lot of other companies um, don't really do that I feel that Blackmagic does. And you won't really read these a lot unless you talk to someone that has used the program for a long period of time and they can say, oh, this was you know something that stuck out to me. 
that was uh, really good, uh, you know, this over that. If you, you know, determine that you are going to go down the route of DaVinci Resolve, personally, what I will say is anything that you see online, if you watch a um, tutorial on how to do something else, DaVinci Resolve can do that, but there just might be a different method of going about doing it. The tools are named a little differently, but a lot of the tools all work the same way. The same end product can come out of all the programs. It's just the method in which to get to that end product might be slightly different. And that's one thing that I tried to do on some of my uh, Fusion videos is it show people how you can use the, a bunch of tools within Fusion to do similar things that you might see a tutorial on, let's say the Adobe suite and how to do it in there. To be completely honest with you, it's free. There's nothing, it's not gonna, you know, you can just go to the website, download it, install it, give it a shot. You're not gonna have to deal with watermarks. I know like that's a thing that I still see on some videos nowadays. I know when looking at the website and all of the features and tool sets and stuff that they have, it can become very daunting and seem overwhelming, but you know, it doesn't need to be, just download it and watch a basic how to edit and just start from there. Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't really need to be that complicated. There are a lot of things that are uh, possible in the program and that's what they're trying to showcase there, that it's a full featured system. Uh, but you don't really need to know every single thing of how, how every single thing works. I know if you watch a couple of color grading videos, you're gonna learn about a whole bunch of terminology and stuff like that. But again, it's not something that you really need to know, but just it, I personally think that it's good to know that you do have the uh, ability to uh, do very complex things in a free program when the time comes that you want to learn those things. And um, yeah, it's not it's not a limiting tool. I know that there's a lot of other free software out there that is limited in its functionality and tool set. And sometimes people think that the free version of DaVinci Resolve is going to be very limiting. I personally could definitely do a bunch of things that you typically see done on YouTube and even a lot of TV shows where you didn't even need any of the stuff in studio unless you needed the resolution, the frame rate, or you want to take advantage of a couple of what are referred to as Resolve uh, FX that are specific to the studio version. Outside of that, the only other things that personally that I would uh, want is like the collaboration mode, but like I said, that's now free. Um, and then there are a couple of things on the uh, um, color page that I would personally want, but you don't need them. You really don't. There's a big enough tool set there that you could definitely just, you know, continue to go um, forward. But with that being said, those are my couple of reasons why I still think that DaVinci Resolve is the go-to system for anyone that start, wants to start to create videos. It doesn't matter if you're trying to do something tall for a phone, you wanna put something specifically just on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever it may be, make commercials for local companies, make some stuff for at home for the family, edit some gaming videos, whatever it may be. It's all possible within the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And if you're not already using it, I definitely recommend giving it a shot. But with that being said, I hope that this was informative for anyone that's looking to start using DaVinci Resolve. It is definitely a very powerful system to explore. And I personally think that it's worth your time to invest to learn. My name's JR, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later, peace.